Hey, hey, Patrick, come here. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a present. What? I've got a present for what? you. What? This is copyrighted music, so we're not gonna use it anymore. Please like and subscribe to the video, but subscribe to the channel, like, like to the. Anyway, just please enjoy the video. This is an honest. Yeah. Now, usually, to show you this surprise, I would lead you down into into the into the the armory room but but see there was a surprise i had armor on the stands but then a creeper blew up and destroyed all the armor and it was really sad uh so so then i had to get it again yeah so here we got got some things for you Let's... Chest. yeah yeah i got an ender chest so there's no way that it can disappear uh so yeah, here you have a helmet, and that's it. Oh wait, no, there's also there's also boots. Yeah. Boots. And then, They're my favorite. And then and then pants to make you decent. Oh, I'm gonna put these on. Hey, don't fork in on me putting our gun pants already on. And then and then Rolf Harris. And then the most important piece of the set. The Thailand shield. Oh, I get a Thailand shield now. How do I hold this? There is some real weird flickering going on here. <laughs> and you then shall not pass. And then I was gonna give you this chest plate, but I mean, I've already given you so much, Patrick. I don't know if you deserve. Yeah, I don't it. need a chest plate. Oh well, if you don't want it, there you go. So I've got a project. I don't know if you want to work on your own stuff, but I've got the thing that I want to do. Go to do the video do the together, Joel. I well, if, see well, if you're gonna you do this with me, you're probably gonna want a few pickaxes. Just a heads up. I'm off uh, to go fishing. Go do the video together, Joel. I don't want to pick. I'm sick of pickaxing. But Patrick, it'd be so fun. We get a pickaxe out a whole chunk. Uh, two things. One, put windows on the highway, because last time we saw what um happens when you don't have windows next to lava. Look, it's not my fault you and I keep killing each other. But it's fun, Patrick. My only hope is that they haven't the way slime spawning works in 118 because otherwise uh this is going to be a lot of time wasted but i'm doing it anyway because it'd be really funny if i fail epically and suffering is content as they say yes did i just drop a fish did you drop the ball god this is gonna take me a while i need a dropping a puffer fish what about a puff of fish? And now we're just getting like the most polluted ocean. See, see, Team, oh, team Seas what... is going on to get rid of pollution in the ocean. We've got to counteract that and add pollution to the ocean. Should, should we explain the Thailand Empire? Because I realised while editing the last video, we just like passingly referenced the Thailand Empire without actually saying what it is. Well, yeah, I need you to explain it to me as well. You don't I know, know well, what it okay. is. Okay. So, way back when, I was playing my own survival world, and I wanted an... And That's I nothing. have a habit of all my worlds making a, a sugarcane wall surrounding, like, the shoreline. Um, as you can see, we also did here. So I was playing, and I was chatting. I think you were there. I was in Discord. I was chatting with you. And I'm like, what's a place with a lot of sugar? Because I wanted to name it. What's a place with a lot of sugar? And, um... Redacted. said, uh, Thailand has a lot of sugar. So I said, okay, this is this is Thailand, because it's a funny mispronunciation of Thailand. Mm. Uh, so then every just every single world I go on, I make a sugarcane wall and declare myself the emperor of the Thailand Empire. Dude, that's pretty much it. That includes yeah. this one. It's waning. You know what waning you know what rain means, Patrick? I get to show off my trident. Ah. Uh. He hurt me. Who hurt you, Patrick? Do you want me to come beat him up for you? Mending is the shit. You cannot live without mending. If you try living without mending, you're just gonna end up committing suicide. Mending mending is like a suicide hotline. You call it the suicide hotline, you're like, yo, 
I want to kill myself. And then the lady on the other end is just like, have you got mending on your pickaxe? And then you're like, what's mending? And then they explain to you. And then just with the explanation alone, you turn around and you're like, yo, this is, life is good now. Mending exists. And you're happy. Death is coming. We are all going to go deaf someday, and we will not be able to hear Abe's beautiful voice. Yours, my ASMR. Go for it, Patrick. Can I can hear, hear you fiddling with your mic. I don't know if I'd call it ASMR, but... It's not what they do, they scrap. It's not what they do. They scrap. I don't know why not. Either one of them, this is what I used to do. Hey! How are you going? I'm gonna be honest, Patrick, I think... Jeez. Do you want some ASMR? Your, your voice is a bit... is a touch too harsh for it. My favourite ASMR video is drinking a V-Bag. <laughs> I've got to say, it's not a genre that I'm familiar with. Where are you? Are you back with that, in that um, other spot? I'm where I have been. All the time. Hello, Joel Tonkins. Hello, Patrick Perry. Hello. The doors, the doors over there. This is the whole thing is an air pocket. Yeah. yeah the, all, that's what all the sand was for. Was getting rid of all the water. Rain and now I've just, and now I've just got to do this all the way down to bedrock. I'm using my hand, Joel. Your hand. I'm helping. Good work, Patrick. Big help. All right. So this is one, two height. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, so I can put a thing over here, which I think I'm going to use wood. Just to have like a space. Uh, I need more wood. Uh, yeet, yeet, yeet. Um, I'm helping. Uh, Patrick, if you've got something that you can do by hand, um, place a shit ton of wood. Um, like just floor out Give me wood. some wood. There's some wood there. Yeah, I'll do one, two, three. Five. Then a lot of hollowing out once more. Right, so this is Future Me. I've been at it for a little while off screen. Um, just ba been, I think it was a bit boring. Um, so I did some off on my own. Right, so, we've just got this hollowed down a bit. It's a bit of a mess, so I can walk up and down. We've just got a bunch of layers. I've been at it getting a lot of a lot of wood and a lot of stone bricks. It is a pain. I've gone through a lot of dried kelp blocks. Uh, but anyway, I'll um, link the tutorial I used for this down below. And we'll get all the slime. All the slime for all the, all the stickies. Because the stickies are the whole reason I'm doing this. Uh, I actually, I'm not sure if I finished placing the glowstone. Um, I've, I've got feather falling, I can just drop. I didn't. Okay, we're gonna do that now. There's just like four in there and four in there, and then there's one roughly in the middle. It's a bit off, um, but we don't talk about it. We... Uh, yeah. See, as you can see, this is extraordinarily exciting, hence why I chose to just not record um, most of it. It's not very exciting. I spent like a solid couple hours just, you know, placing blocks, coming up, chopping down spruce, going over, grabbing stone bricks, putting more stone in the furnace, running out of kelp, going and grabbing kelp from the kelp farm, waiting for the kelp farm to finish, uh, it's next batch of kelp, uh, trading with villagers to try and keep my tools from breaking, Picksmith has seen better days. How's the stone doing? Uh, yeah, we got a bit, ran out of kelp again, uh, unsurprisingly. i sure he's my kelp farm. I built the kelp farm, I was pretty happy with it. It was meant to be an XP farm, but it's extraordinarily inefficient. This is, this was the first XP farm. Uh, it failed because it was based off of a glitch. I'll try and link the tutorial for that one as well. Uh, then there was this one, uh, which failed because it was just slow. It didn't really, wasn't quick enough. I was too lazy. And this one was the current one, but it's also not a very effective XP farm. You're better off just chopping down a jungle tree and trading some sticks. 
Uh, but it's good uh, kelp like fuel. I think I should go grab some spuds from the spud, the spud furnace, the spud, the spudness. I really want to get some tridents for Abe and Patrick. I feel really bad that I have one and they don't. This one, I was actually really lucky. I just got this one from dumb luck. Like, I didn't even have a looting sword like I do now. It just, I don't know. It was lucky. God grace me. God the goat. Uh, and yes, that is my official religion. You can chuck that on the Wikipedia page when it exists. Joel is a uh, goat. Goat lick? Goat. What's the... How do you describe a religion? My ethnicity is goat. I'll chuck a picture on screen of my, my lord and saviour. This is canonically my god. I pray to him every day. This is Satan. I also pray to him every day just in case god doesn't want me. Um, which, considering I'm praying to a goat, he probably won't. Where was life? I keep saying that. Like, every time something's just, like, sad. Like, last night I had a blackout. I just messaged the lads, like, Abe and Patrick, I'm like, oh, I've got a blackout, friggin' no Wi-Fi, woe is life. It's just become my saying now, it's just gonna be the thing I'm known for, I'm gonna be on my gravestone. It better to goddamn say, woe is life. I'm gonna put that in my will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write a will today, and I'm just gonna write specifically at the top, like, I don't care who gets my things. All that I care about is that my gravestone says, woe is life. It takes so much more wood than you think. This is only a 16 by 16 area, and it uses like five stacks of wood. Which frankly makes sense, because four bits of 16... No, wouldn't that be four stacks of wood? Hang on. So we've got 16 by 16, then one stack of wood is 64. We divide that by... Probably submerge this, like, down into the ground. I reckon, so like, they fall. Yeah, we'll do it a few down, I reckon. Poor Picksmith. He's gonna break. I almost, like, lost track of his durability at one point. And he got down to, like, where he is now. And I was, like, still going strong. And then I'm like, oh, shit, Picksmith. No. Oh, hello. Oh, this is <laughs> this is part of our mineshaft. We should just make this a proper staircase instead of having to do this every single time. But no, I won't. Well is life. <laughs> I just want to emphasize, I do not take credit for this slime farm. I'm using a... Well, I'm basing off the tutorial. I'm not, like, following it through step by step. But I did watch a tutorial to get an idea of how it would work. I don't have enough to just do this wall. It's actually kind of satisfying in its own way. Woe is life. While I'm dumping stuff... I'm gonna tell a story, right? I'm gonna... I'm gonna know if Abe watches this video or not, because he's gonna message me, be like, Yo, you dickhead. Uh, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll message him, I'll be like, Yo, did you watch the video uploaded? And he'll be like, Yeah, 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 of course, it was a great video. And I'll be, and I'll be like, Mmm, but I'll know. I'll know because he didn't respond to it. So, right, paint this picture. I was in, um, I was in Year 9 Science with Abe. We, we, had, we had science together. Uh, jolly grand time, we're building a boat, right? Um, so the whole idea was we had, it was towards the end of the year, so we are just having a bit of, bit of fun. Um, the idea was to build a boat and see whose boat uh, was the most buoyant. Um, so we were building a boat. What the hell was that? I don't even want to know. Got like, put, put a little like flag together. I made a little TARDIS flag because I love Doctor Who. And it pissed Abe and this other kid who I'm not going to name off. Um, we'll name him Jeffrey. Pissed Abe and Jeffrey off because they don't watch Doctor Who. Like, absolute weirdos. And then Abe's, Abe's got the hot glue gun, and he's thinking to himself, right, like, what can I do with this hot glue gun? And instead of being productive, maybe, like, attaching stuff to the boat, no, he thinks, you know what, I'm gonna stab Joel's elbow with it. And he just, just pressed it up against my elbow. Uh, hurt like hell. Well, I was, like, almost in tears. And, like, you know, I'm a a very manly man, so I don't I don't cry. They, I want to go like run it underwater, right? Because it's it's burnt, and that's what you do with burns. That's what they they tell you in like food tech. And so I'm trying to get to the tap, and this kid there, the other kid Jeffrey, he's like, yo, uh, bro, I'm gonna stand in the way of the the tap while telling you go run it under the tap, bro. You're gonna it's like a burn. Go run out of the tap. I'm like, man, I'm trying to get around you, so I'd go around to the other tap. 
and it was very, it was a very long couple of minutes. This is a story I tell every other day. This video, if this video goes viral, I'm gonna, God, okay, I'm praying to my goat, the goat man, God, like, make this video go viral, just so that the world can know that A stabbed me in the elbow with a hot glue gun. It is, like, my dream for everybody in the world to know that. It's gonna be so pretty, just like me. Sit up straight, and then the air will just flow into my lungles. My lung- my- My lungles? Okay. It sounds like a disease. Uh, sorry sir, but you've got lungles. But at least you can- you can die while saying the word lungles. Like, it's a fun word to say. No way home, more like no way up. Go down in the comments and just- I will- I will pin anyone that does that. I will pin you if you do that. Four. Wait. gonna be offset. Okay, it's going right there to maintain the illusion. Yeah, that will be fine. Oh yes, it's perfect, it's perfectly enough. I am too good for this game. I am too good. There. I hope there's not gonna be a problem here. Um How to get pumpkin with face Minecraft. Right, I just remembered uh, using my, my inert knowledge of this game because I've been playing it for so long. There we go. Sweet, so then we just need to do the collection system. I'll probably destroy this for the moment for the sake of it. Where's it come to? Right here. There's a redstone there. Right, so then we just need a hopper. Well, that is going to be the hopper. It needs to be a hopper down here. This one here needs to be a hopper. So actually make sure that you can go through all that all well and good. You work. Yeah, you work. But they do some stuff to make that more efficient, so now it only... Shit. Wait, what happened? Okay, it was just Dodge. It's Dodge Town. Woe is life. He's got a quote book. Book of quotes. Woe is life. Joel Tonkins. 20... 21. I forgot the year for a second there. There we go. Slime farm. Now we'll start racking up all the slime. Yeah, be great.